Hi and welcome to the video of first Java program on coding platforms. Now we will see what is the structure of the programs, what is the structure of the problems on a coding platform, okay, how they are mentioned. Then we will see what are the common mistakes made by many students when they are just beginning with online coding, with online platform coding, in coding competitions, in competitive coding, when they are just beginning, what are the common mistakes that they make in the starting, okay? And then we will see what is the correct way to write the code, fine? So for example, if the problem statement given to me is this, you are given two integers represented by A and B. You are given two integers represented by A and B and various mathematical operations need to be performed on them. Operations are addition, subtraction and multiplication. So you are given two integers that is represented for example by variable A and variable B and you have a operations of addition, subtraction and multiplication. So what is the input format? Input format is input is of single line containing two space separated integers. They are nothing but A and B containing two space separated integers which are A and B and the output format is print the result of a plus b, a minus b and a multiplication b in different lines, in different lines. Now each and every word is important here, each and every word is important here. Now for example, sample input is 5 and 6, that is we have given two space separated integers 5 and 6, okay. And the sample output for them is 5 plus 6, that is 11, 5 minus 6, that is 1, minus 1 and 5 into 6, that is nothing but 30, okay. So this is my sample output. Now let's write a code for this. Let's write the simple code for this. How you will write a Java program for this? Okay, let's see. So this is our problem statement. Okay, this is our problem statement. Fine. We have our input format. We have our output format. We just have to write a simple code down for this. Okay, the software that I'm using, the IDE that I'm using is IntelliJ IDE. Okay, so this is a very good software uh, a very good IDE for Java okay if you want you just have to download it from its site okay just download the community edition now let's begin so first write main function ps okay public static void main function in this after writing public static void main now what we need so let's see the first line input is of single line containing two space separated integers so we need two variables to store these integers we need two variables to store these integers so int a comma int b fine int a and int b we need two integers to store these variables fine now after this what we need we need to take the input we need to take the input so for input we will use scanner class of java okay for user input so if you are familiar with c we use scanf in c okay scanner sc equals to new scanner system dot in system dot in fine now what we need is what we need after this is it's very simple you have to take user input a and b now what the mistake many of you make let's see so to print we will use system dot dot print ln and to print let's just print enter the values of a and b okay Enter the values of a and b. After that, a equals to sc dot next int to take the input of a, and b equals to sc dot next int to take the input of b. Okay, so this is how you take user input. If you're not familiar before watching this video, how you take user input in Java? Okay, so this is how you take user input in Java. Fine. That is, we use a scanner class. We can also use other classes. It is a topic of Java input output. That is of different. This is not. That is not of a concern here. Okay, this is just simply you are taking user input as you might have taken in C also using scanf. Fine. So we have a value and we have b value. Now what we need to do? We need to perform these operations a plus b, a minus b, a multiplication b. Okay, we simply need to perform these operations and nothing else. So perform these operations. Okay, and you have to print the values. Okay, you have to simply print the values. So let's see. So we have a plus b. We have perform a plus b fine with a plus b we also have a minus b with a minus b uh, we also have here a multiply b a multiplication by b okay 
so these are my values these are my values i am printing it so this is the code i have taken two values a and b and i have printed a plus b a minus b and a multiply by b now if i run the code okay now it will i will simply run it and i will show you what is the answer fine so just run the code so just run the code and this is running and when it's over let's see yes so first line that is printed is enter the value of a and b so we are entering the value of a and b now so when you enter for example 5 for the value of a and 6 for the value of b so it is printing 5 plus 6 is 11 5 minus 6 is minus 1 and 30 so outputs are same 11 minus 1 and 30 so will it accept it will it accept so when we print system dot out dot print ln it is printed on the console that is it is printed in the output fine whenever you print something it is printed in the output so in this case what is the final output that is printed the final output that is printed on the output file on the output console is nothing but enter the values okay enter the values of a and b and also these values are printed 11 minus 1 and 30 so in the output these two values are printed okay because we use print ln statement for these two values so in the output these two statements are printed but will it is are they correct are the answers correct yes are the answers are definitely correct answers are 11 minus 130 but will it accept be accepted no it will not be accepted and it will say that your answer is wrong it that simple question that is you are just a plus b a minus b a multiplication b it will say that your answer is wrong the reason being you are not following output format okay you are not following the output format provided by them okay the output format says is you just have to print the result of a plus b a minus b a multiplication b and that too in different lines also they are saying that you just have to print these three values they are saying that and they have given the simple output that you have to print just these three values but what are you printing you are printing this line also enter the values of a and b okay and you are printing the answers in a single line but they said that you have to print the answers in a separate line in a separate line okay but you are not following these two conditions okay they only said that you have to print the output and they have given the example in a separate lines but you are also printing enter the values of a and b which is not in the output file also you are printing them in a single line okay so these lines are actually not needed in competitive programming you do not have to write every time enter the values of a and b enter these values or what do you say some of you might write this also a plus b equals to this a minus b equals to this so you do not have to write these odd lines guys okay a minus b equals to this a multiplication b equals to this so you might write this you might write these also okay in the output so what will be in the output file now in the output file that you have created it will be enter the values of a and b this when we enter the values of a and b it will write a minus b equals to 11 sorry it is a plus b okay a plus b equals to 11 a minus b equals to minus 1 a into b equals to 30 okay but actually what it, they needed they only needed 11 minus 1 and 30 in a different line and nothing else and nothing else okay so do not you do not have to write this you have to exactly match what they have said you have to exactly match what they have said okay so what we need to write we need to write the values of a plus b a minus b and a into b on a separate line okay so a plus b on one line a minus b in another line and a into b in another line okay so when i now run it and you do not have to print this so i have commented it so it will be running see nothing is printing in the starting i have to just give them the values and three values will be printed so this is in my output because they are printed using print statement okay so this is how you write a program okay you have to take care that you have to exactly match the output you have to exactly match the output for example if you have yes in the output yes capital yes and you are printing small yes and you are printing small yes then it will say that the answer is wrong okay or if you are printing first letter capital and two letters small then it will say the answer is wrong what you have to do is you have to print exactly the same output that they have mentioned okay exactly the same output that they have mentioned okay if they are mentioning that you have to print the answers in a different line then you have to print the answers in a different line fine now let's see one more thing now the next 
problem that many faces is what are test cases. Now, for example, I have to test this program for 5 and 6. I did it. I am running it again. Now, for the next value, for example, 10, 11, these are the answers. Now, if I have to test it again for another test case, I have to run it again and see these are the answers. Then I have to run it again. 10 and 19 and 19 so these are the answers so i have to run these many times if i want to test my program for 10 times so i have to run the program 10 times if i have to test the program 20 times then i have to run the program 20 times okay i am running it every time if i have to test for different values so what is the shortcut the shortcut here is to use a test case variable and a test case loop okay i am doing the same process again and again of running so to reduce that work i will use a while loop i will use a loop for loop or while loop i will use a loop because it is the same process that is running again and again so we can simply use a loop to do that work fine so let's see now another test another problem statement okay and problem statement is same but the structure is different now now let's see a new problem statement the problem statement is same but the structure is different let's see so you are given two integers represented by a and b and various mathematical operators operations need to be performed on them operations are a plus b a minus b a into b okay the input format is different now the input format is first line of the input contains an integer representing number of test cases if you want to run a program five times so the test case value will be five if you want to test your program for 10 times then the pro test case value will be 10 now each test case consists of a single line containing two space separated integers okay these two space separated integers are a and b for each test case they will be provided a and b fine what is the output format the output format is for each test case print the result of all operations space separated now you do not have to print line by line you have to print the, all the re results in a space separated manner okay in a new line for different test case now for one test case you have to print all the answers in a single line now for another test case you have to choose a new line i will show you this point so let's see the sample input now sample input is first line of input contains an integer representing number of test cases that means we have two test cases here the first test case contain a value as 5 and b value as 6 the second test case contains a value as 10 and b value as 10 okay and the output for the first test case is 11 minus 130 see this time they are space separated not on a new line and the sample output for the second test case is 20 a plus b 0 a minus b and 100 a multiplication by b so now we have to do this okay this problem now we have to code fine now what we have we have a different input format different input and output format so let's now code this one so this is my sample input this is my sample output so what is the first line of input says the first line of input contains an integer representing number of test cases okay so let's get that so first is nothing but same scanner for the user input scanner sc equals to new scanner system dot in system dot in okay system dot in now what is the next point the next point is we need a variable for example t for test cases and take its input take its input you do not have to write enter the value of t that will be wrong because in the output format you just have these two you just have to write the answers and nothing else in the output format okay now we will be using a loop we will be using a loop to run these test cases how many times that loop will run that loop will run t number of times how many times t number of times because now the test case value is stored in variable t so while t is not equal to 0 while t is not equal to 0 the loop will run so the code goes here the code goes here and at the end of the code we will have t minus minus that is t value will be decremented by one how many times will it run it will run two num, two times okay first t value is two two is not equal to zero code will run t value will become one t minus minus then t value will become one here so it will be true the code will run and now t value will become zero and it will exit the while loop okay so what is the code now inside this what you have to do is inside each test case it is written e inside each test case consists of a single line 
containing two space separated integers now we are inside the test case and they are consist of two integers two integers okay let's take de declare the variables for storing them so int a and int b okay now take these inputs so a equals to sc dot next int and sorry a equals to and b equals to sc dot next int so we have taken the input fine of a and b so we have 5 and 6 okay for, for test case 1 we have 5 and 6 now you have to just print the output and nothing else now this time the output is in a single line the output is in a single line fine so it only it is space separated so a plus b now what if i do not write it space separated a minus b and a multiply by b a multiply by b multiply by b here so this time i have not separated them with a space this time i have not separated them with a space so first is what i have to write i have to give the values of a and 2 that is the test case i have two test cases then i have to give the values of a and b 5 and 6 so here is the answer 11 minus 1 and 30 but this is wrong because they have said that the output should be space separated so i have to separate them by a space okay now run it again and then you can see that the output is nothing but space separated okay so we have 2 then 5 and 6 so we have answer here and then we have a 10 10 and the answer is 2 20 0 10 how it runs so first t value becomes 2 okay 2 is not equal to 0 we will come inside we will get 5 and 6 as our input and we will print the answers at the output then t will become 1 because of t minus minus it will run come here is 1 equal to 0 no it will come inside now we have again user input which is nothing but 10 and 10 so this is the user input and then after 10 and 10 is input then we are simply using the operations okay and printing the value the value should be printed the values should be printed in a space separated manner and for each test case on a different line for each test case on a different line now what a doubt most of you have is that now what we are doing this is the input format the sample input rate is 2 5 6 10 10 and output is 11 minus 130 and 20 0 100 but here between these there are many values that is after 5 6 it is inputting the value before outputting the value before we can give 10 10 as the input okay but in an online judge these values will be given to the pro problem these values will be given to the problem and in the output only these values will remain for example if i just copy paste it okay if i just copy paste it and see now you can see these are in a single line okay there is some formatting error but these are in a these are in a different line these are in a different line so 11 minus 130 is here and 20 0 100 is here they are in a different line okay and they are space separated they are space separated in that line for that test case so this is how we should handle the test cases okay this is how we should handle the test case loop fine so this was the basic structure of a java program this was the basic structure of a java program when you are coding online when you are coding on an online platform fine you have to take care of these points you have to take care of these points that the output should exactly match with the output format given by the problem setter okay thank you